Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, I'm going to teach you just a little bit more about reading schematics. All right, what are we talking about? We're going to be talking about that little bitty, extra small percentage sign that you see across all the capacitors and all the resistors. So let's go ahead and jump on over here and take a look at one. Uh, we're going to start with a capacitor, and then we're going to move over to a resistor, and we're going to see how these both work out and play out. Okay. Um, first and foremost, we can see here, let's go ahead and take a look at C1851. Okay. This is a 2.2 microfarad capacitor. Now, directly under it, we have a percentage, and this seems to be a very confusing thing to a lot of people because they don't understand what it's for, how to use it, generally any of it. They're just like, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to ignore it. But it is definitely not something you should ignore because it could definitely help you in the future. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tell you something and you're probably going to instantly know what the rest of this video is about. Okay? If we take that percentage and right next to it we put a plus and a minus symbol then you can probably already go ahead and tell what the rest of this video is going to be about. But we're going to go ahead and go through it anyway. So, if we put our imaginary plus and minus symbol directly next to that percentage, what does that mean? It means that something is plus or minus 20%. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that directly relates to the actual uh, capacitance, or if we're talking about a resistor, the actual resistance of the component. Okay, so we can see we've got 2.2 microfarads, okay? If we've got 2.2 microfarads and we look at 20% of that, that's 0.44, okay? In either direction, up or down, okay? So that means if we take the component off the board and we measure it, if it is between the range of 1.76 and 2.64, then we know that that is a good capacitor and has a good working range, okay? Now, let's try, let's try and take another example here. I'm pretty sure you can already do this one in your head. If we take 20% of 10 microfarads, then that 20% is two microfarads in either a positive or a negative direction. So if we took that capacitor off and we measured it, then a good reading would be anywhere from eight to 12 microfarads so I hope you can start seeing the trend here on how the, the percentages actually work. Now, we're gonna jump over, and I know these are really simple examples, but this is a really simple concept. I just wanna drive it home extra hard so you guys can understand it. So let's just jump on over here, and let's say, let's see what we find over here. All right, so we have two different types of resistors here. Let's look at a 10 kilo ohm resistor, and it's got a 5% in either direction, okay? 5% in either direction is 500, okay? So at that point, if we took it off and we measured it, or you know, measured it in line, anything from 9.5 to 10.5 is gonna be a good working range for this resistor, okay? And if we move over and we look at the 100, and again, We've done a couple of them now, so you should be able to do the math in your head, or you should be able to use a calculator at this point to figure out the percentages. But if we have a 100 kilo ohm resistor at 5%, then that's 5,000, okay? So if we measure it and we get anything from 95K to 105K, then we're good, okay? So this is a very, very simple concept, and I think that if every single schematic just had a little plus or a minus symbol right next to it, then that would probably eliminate so much of the confusion, okay? But now you know what the percentages are for uh, when it comes to looking at the resistors and the capacitors in the schematics whenever you're doing board level diagnosis. So hey, I really hope you learned something today. In fact, if you uh, liked the video, go and hit right over down there and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed and you wanna start checking out all my stuff weekly, just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe. Now, if you are super about it and you want to learn everything that I'm trying to teach, whoop, boom, hit that notification bell, all right? It's really important. That way, every single time I upload something, it pops up right on your phone, your computer, whatever you're doing, all right? 
And hey, check it out. Maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now. Or maybe you even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you, or maybe you just want to say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them. Seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well, guess what? I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description. Boom. Right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god. Check out my stuff. Then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.